I can't do this with you anymore. I'm done with you. Let's get separated, Mary. Goodbye. Okay, cool. Let's do it, Steve. Wait, what? Huh? What the hell is that about? Is that easy for you? Shouldn't you like, oh, I don't know, be a little troubled or something? How are you able to be so calm about all of this? You should be more shaken up or something. That's weird. You don't like it when I'm okay with you divorcing me? I don't understand why. You're the one that asked me for a divorce, right? You should be glad that I'm accepting of your decision. By the way, I want to know, what's the reason you want to divorce me? I got tired of your lazy and brutish behavior around the house. I'm done dealing with that kind of attitude. I frankly don't even look at you like you're a woman anymore. You're just a troll. Get the hell out of my house! Get out of your house? <laughs> You've got to be smoking something, right? Oh, wait, you thought I was joking? Oh, that makes way more sense now. No, I'm dead serious, Mary. I'm going to get a divorce from you, do you understand? <sighs> Seriously, Steve? How stupid do you think I am? You really need to stop being so full of yourself. If you want to get a divorce, I will absolutely go forward with a divorce. Honestly, I really felt like this marriage was dead in the water anyway. You and I were just really not getting along anymore. There's no more spark. I just wanted to hear your reason once, you know. I figured that there would be more to it than just, there's no more love anymore. You know how you've really become a fat whale recently? Wait, what? Yeah, if you compare yourself now to yourself a few years ago, you're like a baby elephant with how fat you are now. And you stop doing any of the chores around the house, you just do nothing. You're literally doing nothing as a housewife now. You serve no purpose around me, you know what I mean? And somehow you sit here pretending like you're all that. You really have a lot of attitude, huh? How about you act more like a lady and start making your husband look better for you, huh? Make his life a little easier. Hey, I have a better idea. How about I pick apart your argument piece by piece, huh? What are you talking about piece by piece? The only reason that I gained weight was because of my treatment from being sick last year. It's literally a side effect of my steroids. I know I'm fatter and I don't like the way I look either, but I'm slowly starting to gain my old body back so I'm not too worried about it. I'll be back to my old self in no time. The doctors also already told me that I should be back to my regular weight within the year. They're not too worried about it either, so I really shouldn't be worried about it either. Not to know about that, we'll see. I'm pretty sure you're just making up excuses for getting fatter anyway. You probably got fatter because of your own lifestyle, right? <laughs> Dude, don't get started with me. You're pretty round around the edges yourself. Hey, you can't say that to me. I'm a man. It can't be helped. Ah, uh, okay, so it's alright if you lose weight and become fat, but I'm not allowed to gain weight because of side effects from life-saving treatment? I'm really okay with whatever at this point. Everything you say has no effect on me at all. <laughs> also, you were talking to me about how the chores around the house were starting to get sloppy. That would be because you quit your job, Steve. And after you quit your job, everything started going to shit. Because I had to start working a full-time job to make sure that our house was able to survive. I wasn't at home nearly as long as I used to be when, you know, I had a functioning husband. You're gonna blame it on my work? How dare you! I actually work full-time right now, too! You can't use that against me! I'm working my 9-to-5 job, too, and I'm actually making more money than you right now. But you don't seem to really be doing any of the chores at all, and I'm still having to pick up all the slack. You seem to be cutting back on the time that you come home on your own, too. No one said you don't come home to help out. I feel like, realistically, you just haven't realized that I'm having to do all of that for you. Stop being such a smartass. Oh my god. You're so annoying. That whole attitude is so damn annoying. Ugh. Ugh, so annoying. That's literally all you say as soon as someone shoves something in your face that proves you're in the wrong. You're such a child. <laughs> I was honestly considering getting a divorce with you two. I know, surprise, surprise, right? 
But you're sitting here telling me that the whole reason we're going to be getting a divorce isn't because of yourself or your attitude, but it's my fault, correct? You don't want to take any responsibility in the fact that this marriage failed. That's how I'm interpreting everything. Tell me I'm wrong. Of course, that's exactly what I'm saying. I literally have done nothing bad for us. You're the only reason that we are having to go through this, not me, you! Ah, okay, sure. I see. I actually have some plans of my own then, just so you know. I'm going to have to get everything ready for the divorce if you don't mind. I'm totally okay with us getting a divorce, but I need to get prepared and whatnot, so... You actually might want to start getting prepared too. I'm sure it's not going to be as easy and simple as you think. What are you talking about getting prepared? Whatever, I guess out of the kindness of my heart, I'll wait for you. If that's all it takes for me to be able to get a divorce with you, I'm okay with waiting around for you to get ready. <laughs> but you have to promise me to get the hell out of the house ASAP, okay? I told you, you must be crazy if you think that I'm going to be leaving this house. Stop being a nuisance, oh my god! I'm not gonna change my mind! I don't have time to be dealing with you, Mary! Such a busy man, don't you understand? I wanna move on with my life and go to the next girl, do you understand? You're just getting in my way. Okay, I'm not gonna be going home today, bye. Yeah, I don't really care what you're going to do. You really don't have to come home ever. Hey, the divorce papers have already been submitted and accepted, right? Yeah, they have been. Congratulations, we're successfully strangers now. You must be so happy. Good luck with the rest of your life, buddy. I wish you the worst. You better stop messing with me, Mary. What? What the hell are you gonna gripe about now? Let me guess, you're still just sitting in my home and planning on living there, right? Why are you staying at my house when we've literally divorced each other? How the hell did you expect me to get home? It's awkward! It seems like you're coming home while I'm away anyway, right? That's what it looks like anyway. And honestly, I'm kind of getting tired of this whole shtick where you're saying that you don't want me to be here. You literally took the words from my mouth. Why do I, the owner of the house, have to put up with some stranger being in my house? I should be able to go home whenever I want. Wait, house owner? We've got a divorce already, Mary. You need to hurry up and get the hell out of my house. I'm going to be living my new life at that house. That house is where I want to start my next chapter. If you're sitting there, reminding me of all the old and bad news, then my life won't start, don't you get it? You mean you want to live here with your mistress, right? That's what that actually means. Huh? What are you talking about? Dude, I figured it out. Stop pretending like you don't know what I'm talking about. It's useless and frankly insulting. The real reason you want the divorce is because you were having an affair, right? That's why you want me to leave the house ASAP. It's not because you want to start the next chapter of your life. You want to hurry up and bring in your mistress to disappoint her in our bed. That's what you're saying, right? I mean, if you've already figured that out, then yeah, I guess there's no point in hiding any of it. You've already gotten the divorce, so I guess it doesn't matter anymore anyway. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I have someone I want to get married with already. A very special woman, in fact. You're just a nuisance, someone that gets in the way. I want you to get the hell out of my house, but you're just living there. As if it's your birthright or something. It's really starting to bother me and I can't stand it. Get the hell out! You should really start praying for our happiness, huh? How about that? <laughs> you know, I've been wanting to ask you this, but are you sure you're not making a mistake about something, Steve? What? Making a mistake about what? I don't get it. You really are the one making the mistake right now, Mary. You must sing that you were some kind of insane high-value wife that everyone will be drooling over. You're actually just some useless wife that has no worth when you're married. <laughs> How about looking in the mirror first and having that conversation with yourself? Before you start being rude and making regretful comments, you should probably calm down first. I feel like you think that you own the house, Steve. Is that what's going on? Stop saying things that don't make any sense, Mary. 
I've been telling you to get the hell out already. I'm gonna call the police on you. The police? <laughs> Why would you call the police? I don't know if you got some kind of feelings left from me that you're still dragging on or what, but you were dumped by me, don't you understand? Why are you still at my house? Get out! If you don't want me to call the police on you for trespassing, get the hell out right now! You realize that this house was built by my father, right? Wait, what? You know, I always knew you were an idiot, but I actually didn't think you were this stupid. How far are you going to take this misunderstanding before you snap out of your delusions? This house was built by my father, who was an architect. It has nothing to do with you. And just to be crystal clear with you, this house is absolutely in my name, and you haven't paid a single penny for any of the expenses, have you? The only person who should be leaving in this situation should logically be your dumbass. <laughs> Wait, what? Hang on, what are you talking about? It's my house, right? I'm the husband, therefore it should be my house. Yeah, that has nothing to do with anything. <laughs> Besides, you were my husband, right? We're strangers now. You were the one that suddenly suggested getting a divorce out of the blue, and yet here you are. Coming back to my house that my father built specifically for me to live in. Are you starting to get the picture? You really are some kind of stupid. And then you were trying to chase me out of my own home. Are you being serious right now? <laughs> Your misunderstanding is actually kind of pissing me off too. You're the one who's going to be thrown out of the house, you understand? Pack your shit and get the hell out of here before I start throwing your crap out for you. Wait, hang on just a second, Mary. I need to calm down and understand what's going on right now. That house isn't mine? I thought since I was a husband, I would take the house in the divorce. I've been telling you time and time again that my father built the house for me, and so it has nothing to do with you. It's my house. <laughs> you have no rights or any other kind of power over the ownership of this house. Zip, zilch, nada. My father, the architect, built this house for his work as a demo house for his work. And when he was going to retire, he just gave the title over to me. Because, you know, I was his daughter and he practically built it for me to live in in the future. And yet you're sitting here, divorced from me, saying that you think you have a right to live in this house? What the hell could you have been drinking, Steve? <laughs> Why would it ever be in your name? I don't see how that could ever be the case. I mean, that's true. I remember now, your father did build that house, didn't he? But I lived in that house too. For the longest time, we both lived in that house together. That means that the house at least partially belongs to me as well, right? Why the hell would it be in your name at all? <laughs> the title is in my name. I have been making payments on all the taxes that are required when you're a homeowner. To make things worse for you, I've been paying for the utilities too. You remember when you were unemployed for the longest time? I'm sure you were just living life in your pleasant little dumb brain without thinking about who's paying for what. You probably spent all of that money that you've earned and should have been spending on your wife and your home on your mistress to go have fun with her, right? I'm not sure who's the worst person in this whole thing. You had the gall to call me a bad wife? Gross. Wait, seriously, you're not lying? I always thought that it was all being taken out of my paycheck. Oops. If we took off all those fees, including taxes out from your paycheck, you'd basically be left with a little over $10. And that's on a good month. Most months, we're probably looking at being in the negatives. That's why I was paying for everything. All the while, I was fighting my disease in hospital and taking my medications, too. I'm okay now, so it doesn't really matter anymore, but... The fact that you were never there for me and only running around playing silly little games with your stupid mistress. Yeah, that was enough for me to never forgive anything and make sure that I would be getting a divorce from you, so. Really? I don't know about any of that. I was pretty surprised about the house thing, I'm not gonna lie. But you're gonna be okay with me living there, right? What? 
Are you serious right now? You're going to ask me to live with you after all this? That's not gonna happen. <laughs> well, we're gonna split our property, right? I know that it's not like you just take everything. I lived with you for the longest time too, you know. You can't just chase me out of the house without any kind of trouble like that. It can't be that simple. You didn't know anything about the house, and yet you want me to split some of the wealth, huh? Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry to burst your bubble, Steve, but I'm not going to share anything with you. What? Why the hell not? If anything, I'm going to be suing you for your money. Suing me? What are you going to sue me for, Mary? I'm going to be suing you for the emotional damage incurred by your affair. Wait, hang on, you can't do that. That's not possible. You've already got a divorce. Stop being so weird about all this. I don't know what's so weird about any of this, Steve. I'm pretty sure I'm being fairly reasonable in all of this. The only reason that I wanted you to wait a little bit before we filed for divorce was because of that. I needed to talk to a lawyer to get everything settled while I collected evidence from you. Evidence? You mean evidence about the affair? That's what you were doing while I gave you time? Yeah, and thanks to you, I've completely finished getting everything ready for the court case. I'm going to have you pay for damages for the affair. There's no changing that at all. And I'm going to be sending all of the proof and content of the investigation to your company along with your parents. You're done, Steve. Do you understand what all of this means? Before you start talking about whose house is whose and how you want me to share my wealth, you need to get the hell out of my sight. I'm sorry, I wasn't expecting you to be so harsh on me like that. Do you not have any kind of remorse or pity? You should take mercy on me, damn it! We've been married for five long years, Mary. You can't just cut me off like that. Yeah, I don't really care how long we've been married for. There is no mercy. There is no pity here. And you know what else? There is no love here either. <laughs> I only see you as a failure of a human. Someone I shouldn't have wasted five years of my life on. I want you to disappear completely from my life. How about you leave my house before I call the police on your ass? <laughs> That's literally what I just said to you a second ago. Yeah, how did it take you this long for you to figure out that you're being completely illogical when you said you'd call the police on me? <laughs> the only way that you're able to leave the house is after I'm sitting here practically evicting you from the home that you lived in for five years. <laughs> what a loser. Seriously, I pity you. How could you be so rude to me like that, Mary? You must be looking down on me like I'm some kind of idiot. I hope that your mistress continues to love you even while you're sitting here with no home and a job that earns less than a high school paper boy. She's got to stay in love with you with all that baggage and someone who's almost in his late 30s. I'm not sure how anyone could possibly stay attracted to a man like that, to be honest with you. <laughs> you don't have to be so harsh on me, Jesus! Just so we're clear, I can't just leave the house right now. It's just not possible. I gave you time to get prepared, didn't I? I need time to get prepared, too. It's not fair if you just spring this on me. I gave you the exact same amount of time to get prepared, didn't I? I literally warned you and said that you need to get prepared when I said I would need some time. I was honestly confused and wondering when you were going to pack up your stuff and get the hell out of my house. <laughs> I didn't know that I was supposed to leave the house at all. I thought I would be living there with my mistress after the divorce. I have no intentions of ever leaving that house, just so we're clear. I've been living there for all this time, do you hear me? If you don't quit your whining and actually start packing your shit, I'm seriously going to call the police on you. You're the one that destroyed our house and family. It was all you. This is just karma coming to say hello. How about you give up already, Steve? Try to restart your stupid life with your own two feet, huh? And stop relying on your sick wife that you just want to call fat. It's my house. You need to come to terms with the fact and move out real soon, okay? Come on, Mary, please. I was wrong about all of this, I swear. What the hell? I really didn't expect you to ever apologize. What's going on? <laughs>
If I don't have a home to live in, I'm seriously going to be in big trouble. I don't have enough money saved up to move into a new home either. I need some time. What the hell do you want me to do, Mary? Are you going to help me? How about you just move into your mistress's house, huh? She lives with her parents, so I can't just say, Hello, I cheated on my wife to have an affair with your daughter, but I was kicked out of my own home. Come on, we've been married for so long, Mary. You can at least help me out, right? It's the last time. You were trying to scare me into leaving a second ago. What's the difference between what you did and what I'm doing now? That was all just a huge mistake, Mary. Do you understand? I mean, your mistress doesn't live with her parents for sure, though. I know that much. Why don't you ask her for help there? Wait, what? I don't know what she was telling you at all, but I'm gonna give you a nice little piece of information. Just from what I know, she definitely doesn't live with her parents. <laughs> it does seem like she's living with someone and doesn't live alone, but it's not her parents. Are you telling me that she was lying then? That this whole time she wasn't telling me the truth? Yeah, this is where I stop helping you. You go ahead and work out whatever is going on there with your stupid side hoe, okay? I'm gonna change out the locks on this house real soon, so I'll leave your stuff outside of the house so you're able to pick it up. If you don't pick it up by tomorrow, I'm going to be sending off all of your stuff to your office. Do you understand? Wait, hang on. You don't have to be so cold about all this, do you, Mary? We were married for so long. Please don't abandon me like this. I'm begging you. Please come live with me again. I want to live my life with you. I don't want to live with you at all. <laughs> We've already gotten a divorce and everything is already filed. You need to get the hell out of my house, you rotten piece of... After a little while, Steve was found sleeping in the doghouse that was located in the yard of Mary's house. Without permission, of course. Mary called the police on him and they were able to chase him off the property and get a restraining order. In addition to all of that, when Steve asked the mistress about what was going on with where she lived and if she was already married, she just ran away from him like it was no problem. Steve was smart enough to follow her and figured out that she was already married. They both had to pay for all of the damages that happened when everything was brought to light and it was a whole debacle. Mary got all of the damage payments from Steve and her house was basically brand new. She was able to sell it relatively quickly and use that money to buy a mansion and move into a new home. She completely moved on from Steve and has been living her life completely fulfilled and without a worry in the world. Completely opposite from Steve, who is homeless and currently drowning in debt. I wonder who got the better deal from this whole divorce.